I have no idea what specimens we're going to find, but we'll go down to the low tide mark. Probably find some little shrimp. Some brittle stars. Hopefully a sea peach or two. Be a little funnier. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when the worms come up out of the mud, they grab you and you have to be very careful. The tide is going out. I could be swept out to sea where there's sharks. <laughs> it's windy this way so that we're getting a muddy... Oh, look, a jellyfish. Oh. It's a comb jelly. For the kids, and it's got two, three, four, five slipper shells on it. This is the first one of these I've found this year. It's a moon snail. We call it a sand collar. You see the little bumps on the inside? Each one of those is a little egg of the moon snail. And you can see that some of them have already started to hatch out. Oh, look, here's another. Wait, is it a moon or a comb? Oh, that's a comb jelly. Yeah, that one's in much better shape. See, the wind's been blowing out of the south for two days, so there's a good chance that a lot of jellies have been pushed up inside of the bay. Look at this huge bed of uh, brown, filamentous kind of seaweed. It doesn't look like anything out of the water, but when you throw it in the water, it just naturally expands out. And can you see all the horse muscles peeking up out of the rocks here? Look at them. Yeah. Here's an actual blue mussel bed. So we might take the knife and cut a few open and see if, if there are any pearls in them. You can usually just feel the pearls, but I don't feel any in that one. Maybe a case that there's uh, there's not enough sand here. Let's get under and flip some rocks. So oh, here's a bunch of whelk eggs. See those? Wow, a whole stash of them. Oh, and here's some dog winkles. Maybe we should get those. We need them. Let's just grab a bunch. We need 50. These ones? There's three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, don't get periwinkles. Don't get periwinkles. The dog winkles are pointed like that. Uh, look at all. Look at all the dog winkles and the eggs. I think we got the 50 we need, but what do you think, pops? What do you think? Right, off. right in their spawning mode. Some chitons, tiny star right there. That's the spaghetti worm. Let's see if we can pull him out of his tube. A limp it for every finger. Oh, look at them all on this rock. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Put one on there. Ta da! I've been limpeted. Look at my thumb, that one's peeling off, ready? No, it's not. This ledge, which only comes out of the water a few days a month, is like a seaweed hot spot. There's tons of mermaid's hair out here, all on the rocks. There's a little bed of Irish moss clinging to the rocks and the current. And then there's this, I don't know what this stuff is. I'm gonna look it up. Some kind of reddish. It reminds me of Gracilaria, but like a hollow red weed rather than green. And then of course the sea lettuce, kelp. Look at the urchins right down here in this little pocket in the ledge. There's a nice blood star. Every rock has a surprise underneath it. Woo! Big green crack hanging out down in there ready to eat everybody. Oh, Molly got the brittle star. Oh, hello, brittle. That's going to be perfect. You know what we didn't find? It's just regular, any regular sea stars. That is a big sea star. It's a, I can see it. Um, it's a video though. Wow, that thing is full of spawn. Here it is, the signature. TP Tim, dripping wet starfish on head. Look at that thing, just oozing water. She's a prego female, ready to spawn soon. Let's put her back on the water. Look at that purple color though. Let's see here it does something. Let's put her right on this rock. Here she goes. Poppy, come on. Come on, pups. Let's go, we're done. Here is the nudibranch. That's the rough mantled sea slug or nudibranch. There's some crumb sponge on a horse muscle. 
This pink stuff is a kind of encrusting algae, a red algae or seaweed. Here's a dog winkle that actually has some egg cases attached to its shell. Here's a blood star. That's the egg case of a wave whelk snail. We have the brittle star. That's a, called a brood star. Now this is the whelk snail, the waved whelk, and this is the one that lays this egg case. So each one of those little capsules is gonna hatch out. Here's the hermit crab in a moon snail shell. These are tortoise shell limpets. Put those there. Oh look, there's a chitin right here as well. Here's another piece of sponge. That's a perma bread sponge. Here's a piece of finger sponge. Horse muscle, blood star. There's a giant limpet. Let's put that one upside down. You see it start to move its tentacles and its foot. Here's a blood drop anemone. A sea anemone on a horse muscle shell. Look at this seaweed. It's a red sea oak. They're like steamer clams, but they're called the Arctic borer clam. 